Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a, I think it, I believe this is my second empties video. So let's get started because I have a lot to show you. Okay, uh, I have a tutorial or it's a fur, not a first impression, <clears throat> a demo slash. Uh, review on this eye look right here. I won't tell you the product. You guys better go watch it. Okay? Okay, so let's get started. So this is my empties. I have a few products. So let's start with this here because this is quite bulky. Oh man, I have a lot of these. So these are the uh, Dove body wash. Oh boy, I have another one. Well, these are what I use. Everybody uses this in my house. So this is the Dove body wash. Uh, we, me and my husband usually use the, um, the ones that have like uh, different smells to them. So I have uh, shea butter with warm vanilla. And I have, what's this one called? Coconut milk with jasmine petals which looks like so. And the last one that I have is another shea butter with warm vanilla. So these are what we used here in our house. And my kids, because my son has very sensitive skin, I have to use, and I have been using this since he was a newborn because of his very sensitive skin. Um, for my kids, I use these sensitive skin uh, with unscented, uh, unscented and it's super moisturizing uh, body wash for them so this is what I use uh, on both of them. My daughter doesn't have sensitive skin but it doesn't matter I'm not gonna start buying a, you know a body wash for him and a body wash for her. You both are gonna use the same thing so since this is very gentle on the skin and I highly highly recommend it for like um, children that have sensitive skin. My son has uh, sens sensitive skin in this sense. Uh, he has uh, eczema and he has his skin just reacts to like any type of perfume. Um, so this is what his pediatrician recommended as a newborn because as a newborn I did start using the Johnson, Johnson and Johnson but he had like a flare-up as a newborn so she said just use this this is perfect it's not harsh at all and it's okay for babies so if you guys are looking for something for your children or for yourself if you have sensitive skin this is really 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 good next I have shampoos I have the L'Oreal uh, hair expertise smooth intense shampoo uh, this is the Cara uh, tourmaline I believe it's the way you say it it's the it says that it's a uh, longer lasting straight without damage and it smooths hair fibers from root to tip um, fizzy or straight uh, straightened hair so this is awesome 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 shampoo i really 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 like this shampoo it left your hair super soft and your scalp felt very clean um and even washing your hair with this like it f it foams really well and you you felt that your hair was like actually clean you know there are some i'm finishing one i'll talk about it once uh, I finish it and it'll be in my empties, but I'm trying one now that like, you know, after a day, I go through my, like, this is, a, this is hair that was clean washed yesterday and I used it again and I'm already like feeling like my roots uh, oily, which for me is... Uh, a lot because I could go when my when my hair is blow dry professionally by a hairdresser I could go for like a week without washing my hair and it doesn't look greasy it doesn't look like not, it just looks good um, at home you know when I blow dry my hair is it different I mean I I'm not super good at blow drying my hair, but it's always different when you do it at home than if you do it to a professional. But I find that this shampoo and other products that come in this line, there's a hair treatment and there's a conditioner that I also am using. And now I just found a, I don't remember what it is, but it's a styling product from this line. 
um, and it's amazing. I love it, love, 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 love this shampoo. As soon as I'm done with, I have two shampoos now in the shower because I alternate, but as soon as I'm done with one, I will, 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 will repurchase this shampoo. It just leaves your hair super soft, uh, even combing your hair after the shower, it's, you can comb it no problem, it doesn't tug, uh, it, and you feel like your hair is like well washed at home. Hmm, that was long. Next, another shampoo, this is the Joico K-Pack Shampoo to repair damaged hair. This I bought it at uh, Winners for $12.99, the price is still on it, and it, is, it retails for $16.95. This was an okay shampoo. It didn't do really much to my hair. It's, I mean, compared to this, where it's drugstore and it's a lot cheaper, I wouldn't repurchase it, no. Um, I didn't feel that it did like, wow, miracles, that I would actually spend the $16.95 if I can't find it for $12.99. Uh, so no, it didn't do much. It's okay, nothing special. Uh, a hair product that I have repurchased is the, uh, what's it called, uh, Unique One. It's an all-in-one hair treatment. It has 10 uh, real effects, it says. It's great. I love it. I repurchased it. It's a little on the pricey side, but it really helps, um, like, when you're blow drying it or curling it, today I curled it a little bit just to give it a little bit of body. Um, and I really, really like the product. It does really, everything that it says here, like shine control, uh, frizz control, uh, repairs for uh, dry damaged hair, uh, silkiness, hair, pro uh, hair color protective, and yes, it does all that. I really, really like this. Uh, I put this on my hair. It comes with a spritzer. Uh, I put this all over my hair, not so much on top, because if you put a lot of product on top, then your roots are going to get um, oily faster. Uh, and I'm someone that <laughs> hates, hates washing her hair. Uh, so yeah, love, love, love this product for styling. Uh, love it. And already repurchased it. Repurchased it. Uh, anything else for hair or whatever or oh I got another body wash this is the gentle exfoliator that me and my husband use gotta love that body wash can't say that we don't wash our bodies I have a little sample of the Kardashian Beauty black seed dry oil this is just a sample they gave me and it lasted me for Ever. Like you really need a tiny, tiny, tiny little amount for you to run. I didn't use it today, but to run through your hair so it looks like super shiny and silky. Uh, I do have a review for you guys on the Kardashian Beauty uh, hair care, I guess. Um, I will link it down below, but yes, I do like it and I do have a full-size bottle of this. All right. Uh, this is the EOS Shave Cream in Vanilla Bliss. This I have for a long time. It still has a little bit in it, but I usually don't use shave cream. Uh, I don't see really the point. I usually, what I do is, uh, if I know that I'm gonna uh, um, shave on that day, I usually exfoliate uh, my skin and then I shave just with water running down my legs. Yes, I know people are gonna cringe that like you don't put anything, you're gonna like cut yourself or like have a razor burn or whatever, but I don't. I usually just exfoliate uh, my legs and my bikini area really well always with either an exfoliator or just a little bit of body, lo uh, not body lotion, a body wash on my gloves. I just put it, I run it through and then I shave and it's perfect shave, very smooth and yeah, so no, shaving cream, no more for me. What else? I have uh, Origins uh, Jing Zing Eye Cream. This I love. It really, uh, what it does is supposed to brighten under your eyes a little bit. Uh, the cream is on the white side. Now there's nothing inside. 
Um, it's not white actually, it has a le like a little bit of hint of a peach in it. Uh, I do like it, this is probably my third bottle of it. I'm using now by Origins also, the uh, it's called the Eye Doctor. Um, I'm not sure yet, I've been using it for like, I would say a month now, but I'm not sure how I like it yet. So yeah, but this one definitely very, very, very good eye cream. Uh, this is the uh, First Aids Beauty Facial Radiant Polish. Uh, it fol exfoliates, brightens, and purifies uh, for sensitive skin. Uh, no, didn't do anything for my skin. I usually like when I exfoliate, I usually like something a little bit rougher so that I feel that I got like deep down. I went to get all of the gunk and the crap, uh, but this, like, I didn't feel, like, it was very soft as an exfoliator, so I didn't feel that it did much, anything for my skin, uh, but it was just, okay, no, will not repurchase it. I do like First Aid's Beauty, but for that particular product, no. This is the Avino Baby uh, ba Daily Lotion. And this is fragrance free. This is what I use on my son because he has a very sensitive skin. Uh, I have to use lotions and body washes and all that jazz uh, with no uh, fragrance and every, very soft and gentle on the skin. So this is uh, what I use on his little tiny little body. And I've been using it for quite a while now so it works perfectly well for him. Uh, what else? I have the Micro Polish Cleanser by the company Ren. Uh, this is just a sample, but the sample did last me a, a little bit. I do like this. This has the perfect amount of like, um, like to exfoliate. This is the type that I like. It has those little uh, beads, like sandy, like to, to just like you know take everything off. I usually exfoliate my skin two to three times a week, depending how my skin is feeling. Um, but this, yes, definitely, definitely like this. This did really an amazing job. Um, as soon as I'm done, I'm using the Kiehl's one now and it's almost done. I will repurchase this one because I did really, really like it on my skin and I did feel that it did a very good job on my skin. This is uh, Makeup Wipes. This is from Clean and Clear Night Relaxing All-in-One Cleansing Wipes. Uh, oil, it says oil free. This is what it looks like. No, this was absolutely crap. It didn't take out squat. Like you would wipe it off and then if you would, let's say I would take a wipe, wipe off some of the makeup and then I would use, what's it called, the Bioderma with a cotton round to take off some more and the cotton round would be full. So the wipe here didn't do squat. So no, we'll never ever repurchase this. Oh hell no. No, you did nothing for me. Uh, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter uh, Makeup Setting Spray. This comes with a pump. If you guys haven't uh, used this, I don't know what you guys are waiting for. This keeps my face on all day. All day. And yes, I have repurchased it. Here you go. I have another one. And yes, this absolutely, absolutely will always, always be in my makeup kit area always. This is the Sugar Lip Treatment. I think this is just the original one. This was from, I think it was last year's uh, birthday gift from Sephora and I'm done. Uh, will I repurchase a full size? Oh hell no. This is like $26 for a lip balm. Okay, yes, it was very moisturizing. It has FPS, S in it of uh, 15. Um, I did feel that it did a very good job at moisturizing my lips, but no. $26? No. 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 This is the uh, Beauty Blender Cleanser Solid to clean my beauty blenders. This is like done. There's like little bits and pieces in it. Ah, oh, it has water in it. Uh, but I can't get them out. They're like stuck in there and like I can't even clean 
uh, anything with it so I do have another one this is what I use to clean my beauty blenders uh, it does a great great job a lot of people here on YouTube use it also to clean their brushes but I think this is like too expensive to clean all of my brushes because I could have like 30 to 40 brushes to wash at once and this baby would go like in seconds if I would wash all my brushes so no I do use it to clean my beauty blenders yes but not my brushes uh, what else what else what else what else now I only have like little samples this was Hold on, there's the paper inside. It was a sample from Sephora. Oh, this was the Ole Erics, uh, Ericsson. This was... Oh, no, you're not. I'm filming. Be quiet. Sorry, guys, that was my phone. Uh, this was a, a rich uh, eye cream. Um, I did use it, but I found it was a little bit too thick. Uh, so if I was using just this like on uh, like an everyday type of day not wearing makeup on top It would be great uh, Maybe at night this would be awesome also uh, because it's a thicker formula But under makeup I find that it's like caked up uh, If I would put my concealer and then set my concealer uh, so I didn't look very good with uh, makeup on it uh, but like on every day if you're not gonna apply makeup great it really like it really uh, moisturized uh, really well even though it was very thick and not very it wasn't very hard to blend but I just I mean I'm not gonna buy like two eye creams like for one for night and one for this I mean I think I should because of my age but it was okay that's it let's move on and this is what but uh, this was another eye cream because I was looking before I bought the uh, eye doctor from Origins. I was in. A, I wanted to try something different after I was done with this one. And this is the what is this one? Eye Duty Triple Remedy Overnight Balm. Really? I am speaking. And uh, this this one was super thick. I didn't like it at all. Like it was very thick. I usually prefer something more like watery, but this was too thick and like no, I didn't like it. No. This was the uh what is this? I can't even tell you what this is. Uh a more Pacific and this is a rejuvenating cream moisture balm. I don't even remember, so I'm not even gonna talk about it. And this is the Coors Wild Rose uh, Plus Vitamin C Advanced Brightening Sleeping Facial. This I did really like um, for nighttime. It has like that rose smell. So if you guys are not into rose smell, so forget it. This won't be it because it's kind. It's you will definitely uh, smell it. It doesn't stay with you all night, but it definitely has that uh, rose scent. And yes, I did really like this. I applied it at night. It's just a small little little sample. Uh, I applied it at night before bedtime and in the morning you would look and you would feel like your skin was very plump, like rejuvenated type of thing. And yes, I did really like it. So next time I'm uh, at Sephora, I might pick it up a big size because I did really, really, really enjoy this at night. I really liked the sensation in the morning when I would like wash my face and I would be like, wow, my skin is so soft. Uh, and it looked uh, brighter and plumper. So yes, definitely, definitely like this. So that's it guys. That's all the empties that I have for you guys today. So thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or if you want to leave any suggestions for videos, leave it down below and I will try to do that for you guys. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.